Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Cracking with Poppin' It's D. Boss here, this album. Preach of the title, He Confessed to Murdering His Dad, Who Was Alive. What? What? Well, let's see what happened. Let's watch. What makes an innocent person admit to a crime they didn't do? But that makes you realize the psyche of people. If you put them in enough stress, if you yell at them, if you badger them, if you make them question their own psyche, people would admit to things that they've never done or have never witnessed. 36 hours later, Perez found himself in custody. Police had gotten him to to murdering his father. I was now in their little box of horrors. Their little box, as they call it. It was August of 2018. Fontana police were convinced Perez's father had been murdered. They thought Perez appeared suspicious, and they found some blood evidence at the home the two shared. They asked Perez to come to the station, and that's where they turned a missing person case into a 17-hour interrogation. They even brought in Perez's best friend to try and get a confession. Jim, they got you murdered. They got you murdered. Impossible. When that didn't work, detectives brought in Perez's dog. The dog? And he's dead. And your dog is sitting here looking at you. Why would he get $9,000? That you... Is that after so Detectives even suggested the dog may have to be put down after witnessing such a traumatic event. I just want to help her. Yeah, he must have sued. Not let go. And then they took her out of the room sometime after that. And felt like the end of the world for me. Were you here? I've never, ever seen a situation where the police bring a dog this size through the police department. They transport there, walk it through the police department, bring it into an interrogation room and use it as a tool in order to seek a confession. It's unconscionable. Perez was suffering from mental health issues. He was sleep deprived and he says he was denied medical help. After 17 hours, police finally got him to confess to the murder. Did you stab him? I didn't think that I did. But if you did, where would you have stabbed him? Might have been in the belly. Detectives had their suspect and they had their confession, but what they didn't have was a body. And that's because Perez's father wasn't dead. Dead. Oh my God! That is wild. That's what I was to get away for. Oh my God! Father was alive and well, and was at LAX airport, oh, ready yeah. to take a flight to go visit his sister. They didn't have the nerve to look him in the face. They didn't have the nerve to tell him his dad's okay. Authorities put Perez in a hospital on a psychiatric hold. It was days later he finally learned that his father was alive. A young, uh, younger nurse uh, came over to my bedside and says, I know it's a, that it says in your file that not to speak to anybody, uh, any family members, but your dad's on the phone. I'm like, what? She handed the phone to me. Nah, B. Nah. Yeah, get them. See nah. Them. <laughs> and I just dropped to the floor crying because he was alive. Perez filed a federal lawsuit against the Montana Police Period. Department and was awarded $900,000, but the city added the settlement included no yeah, finding yeah. of wrongdoing. None of the officers involved in the case have been disciplined. In wow. fact, several have since been promoted. Nah. Wow. Wow. Y'all are not had a bit. Let it marinate. Right. The 17 hours was not the 17 hours that he didn't sleep. It was just the interro the interrogation. Like yes, it, so it he didn't sleep before that. How long he was awake before. So imagine that. The 17 hours, the 17 hours is just the interrogation. And you're in sitting down on a not so comfortable chair not so comfortable table for 17 hours and they're pressing you if we forget the fact <laughs> that you have mental health issues and you're ski deprived a totally sane person to a totally sane person this shit is crazy it's crazy that's why you're gonna move on top of that you do that and you ain't got nobody dude is alive and taking a trip on a, on a holiday now i think my dad dead and i think i did it no. 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 No, there's no money no in the way. world. I'll take that. And you just go about your day. La, 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 la. What you doing what on my next birthday? Oh, I'm okay. having a promotion. What are you doing? What? But that makes you realize, and for all the people watching at home, whenever you guys are so certain someone's guilty based off the evidence that a prosecutor presents, just be careful. A lot of it's faulty stuff. A lot of it's hidden evidence. A lot of it is falsely Back. induced confessions. And falsely induced confessions are... Su and you have to think, what makes an innocent person admit to a crime they didn't do? But that makes you realize the psyche of people. If you put them in enough stress, if you yell at them, if you badger them, if you make them question their own psyche, people would admit to things that they've never done or have never witnessed. And especially this guy who... My estimation didn't have it all up there even before this. That's what they said. You know, when someone has any kind of like 
slowed down mental faculties or whatever. It's very, and that happens to a lot of guys. People who are a little bit on the spectrum or whatnot and how they get pressured yeah, into believing sure. situations. Yeah, yeah. Oh and there's yeah, no recourse yeah. for a lot of these people. It's a, it's a sad thing to imagine. So if I can give you guys any advice, if a cop wants to talk to you, even if you're innocent, lawyer. innocent, it could never happen to me. Just understand it. Don't take much for them to railroad you. Get a lawyer. Agree 1,000%. Even if you are completely innocent, you still get a lawyer. Nope, I'm not talking. I want a lawyer. You know, don't feel like, oh, I'm, I'm innocent, so I can talk, I can say anything, whatever. I don't, no, they could still get you caught up somehow. This legal system is very fucked. That's why when people make comments and they're like, oh, um, this person is guilty because, look, they got found guilty. And, and that don't mean shit because, yes, a lot of this evidence can be doctored. A lot of these cops are very shady. Some of them are racist, okay, and they want to push you know, guilt on certain, you know, uh, minorities because they're, they're just racist and they feel like, oh, you must have did something wrong because you're brown, so confess, you know? So, yeah, you got to be careful with this type of, of thing, uh, but I'm glad he got compensated. I, I would have took it for sure. Because the preacher was like, oh, no amount of money, I'll take it. I would take it <laughs> for my troubles. Uh, but, yeah, this is wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!